This mm. is the queer faith perspective. Christian Texas Democrat destroys GOP <coughs> using the Bible against them. A video of Texas State James uh, Tallarico using biblical scripture to tear down conservative Christians' arguments is going viral on social media. And it's glorious to watch. I actually watched it. <laughs> uh, this past summer, Texas Republican tried to pass Senate Bill 1515, which would have required the Ten Commandments to be displayed prominently in every public school classroom in the state. This bill was an attempt by conservative Christian Republicans to interject uh, religion into schools, but Tallarico wasn't going to take this line down. Instead, he used their religious texts against them. After passing the Texas State Senate, the House Public Education Committee was considering the bill at a May meeting while Tallarico stood up for the LGBTQ plus rights and calmly explained why, as a Christian, he feels the bill is not only unconstitutional, it's not only un-American, but it's also deeply unchristian. After quoting from the Bible, he asked that every time we try to teach basic sex education to keep our kids safe, we're told that the parent that that's the parents' role. But now, when the committee is putting religious commandments in the classroom, saying that's the state's role, why is that not the parents' role? Hmm? This question left the room silent and searching for <laughs> words. The stunning video already has 5.9 million views and 1 million likes on TikTok, and is now gaining traction on the threads. Hmm. Yay him. <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> you know, and, 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 and there's one of those reminders about how we use scriptures tit for tat, you know, cherry pick this and cherry pick that. But this is one of those moments that I'm very proud that, you know, this was used the way that it was. Yeah. Uh, and really calling out almost a separation of church and state or uh, how we do this from public education. And really, if everything is done in the name of the children, you can't pick and choose. <laughs> you know, it's either we're all in for protecting our children from all of this madness and crazy, but you can't just say, oh, because we're this Christian little group, we got it right over here, we got the right answers, this is what we want to do in all the schools. Uh, take those things down. You know, you talk about auto worship, take those autos down unless, saying, unless you're done with it. You know, it's be, be, be done and move on. I'm saying, and are we, how are you going to enforce it? All right. Are we, are we going to enforce the Sabbath day rule? Or, you know, like, are we going to make people like just shut down Friday at sundown? And yeah. I bet not. That, Never cross their mind. Like, why is that? And yeah, <laughs> no graven images except for this we want to put in every classroom. And I can't tell that the presence of, of 10 ancient rules, uh, which basically just boil down to uh, worship our, our, our tribal deity, you know, our group's deity, Worship our, that's four of them. And then the next six is don't be an asshole. That, <laughs> uh, so like really then, just the bottom six are what you should deal with. And you don't need a religious text to do that. And so it, it, it just, what I always want is I want someone to propose right after th this proposal, you know, where we put a thing, a religious thing, uh, is that, okay, uh, now I propose that we put uh, sections from the Bhagavad Gita mm -hmm. uh, 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 up right next to it. Or I propose... Uh, that we uh, put up, uh, that we chant the Heart Sutra, you know, right after we say the Pledge of Allegiance or whatever. Like, because it's not about religion, it's about their religion. And it's not about their religion, it's about their narrow understanding and application of their religion. And it's not even about their narrow understanding and application of their religion, it's about power. <laughs> right. Ding, ding. And they are using this to, to control and dominate people. This is just one more form of colonization over people's minds and bodies. And, uh, if you want to talk about the Bible, the Bible has some things to say about that. <laughs> Hello, yeah. let my people go. Well, and that in itself, I mean, in doing all that, they're breaking most of yes. the rules yes. that are in there. Thou should not lie. They're lying, all you know, time. all the time. Yeah. Don't take the Lord's name in vain. They're doing that when they're do yes. when utilizing God as a way to, uh, you know, hide, hide their hatred, you know, mm. with that mask of, of religion. Yep. And it's just not right. And you're so, it's so, you're so, it's so, you're so right about that, that if you're going to open this door, you better open the door for everybody, mm -hmm. yep. everybody, including the, you know, famous Church of Satan that they come, they always come around and be like, well, you're going to do that. Then we're going to put, you know, yep. our Lord Satan in, in, in the same yep. next, right next to the same thing. And they can't say a thing. Yep. That's what there's a separation of yep. Christian state. There's this wall separation. 
If you're going to do it for one, you have to do it for all. So don't do it for any of them. Just remain a pluralistic society, yeah. which is what we should We're be. supposed to be. Out of many, we are one. Yes. Period. Not out of many Christians, out of many Jews, out of many Muslims, out of anything. No, no. Out of many, many. we are one. And that's the way that it should be. Yep. It always amazes me that some people still believe that this country was created so that Christians could be in charge. <laughs> <laughs> there were no Christians in the beginning. Right. <laughs> okay. Not the original inhabitants of the Not land. The Certainly no. Not the original inhabitants <laughs> right. of the right. oh, Well, we don't want to go there, do we? <laughs> But uh -huh. and the deists and Unitarians and Masons that they think were Christians were not we're their not, kind of Christian. No, no they definitely no. weren't. No. So we are always going back to the principal idea that I am going to control as much of you as I can, and what I don't like, I'm going to get rid of. Oh, the idea of putting every other um, faith-based organization's um, words in a classroom. If we do that, then I don't think we'd have as big a problem with the Christians wanting to put that particular list of 10 I things. I withdraw my objection if we do that. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I'm thinking. Yeah. If we're saying that everybody is is equal, then let's do it. Mm -hmm. But that's not what that's they're not saying. What they're saying. That's no, not what they're even going anywhere no. near that. So there we are. And it is all about power. It is Absolutely. all about power. It has nothing to do with religion. It has nothing to do with Christianity. It has to do with any of that. Because what they're doing is the definition of antichrist. Mm -hmm. mm. And they, you know... When you, if you read the Gospels, if you read Matthew 25, if you're not doing any of that, then you're not operating in the Christ way. So I don't know what they're doing. I don't think it's Christian. And it's, it, it, it is a, it's almost like they, they fetishize God for their own purposes. And that's, that's not right. Mm -hmm. I just remembered there was a story about um, people were rejecting a pastor because the pastor was reading the Sermon on the Mount. Mm -hmm. And they were mm -hmm. saying, too woke. where did you get all that woke crap from? Yeah. He's like, I'm reading Jesus. from <laughs> your book that you say that you love so much. Mm -hmm. And this guy, Jesus, that you say that you want to follow, that you want to be more like. I am reading verbatim. And one person, according to what I read, said to him, uh, we're, we're past all of that. It is a different world, different time. Yeah. Then stop saying you're a Christian, exactly. please. Yeah. Exactly. And stop using the text to do anything else then. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're past that, then close yeah. it and yeah. burn it like you're doing with so many other books. Yeah. Yeah. I often say they weaponize religion or they weaponize ah, yes. God, but I yes. love this that they fetishize. I love that. Yeah. Like Maybe that they should phrase. change the Lord's Prayer to, oh, oh daddy. You know? <laughs> that, that, daddy God, you know? Uh, 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 oh, mommy, come on. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Heavenly mommy. daddy, you know? Yes, yes. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, John the Baptizer did wear leather, so yes, there's he that. Did. He did. Yes, he did. And, and funny enough, that story that you said reminds me of um, Bishop Williman from Duke University, he said that he had a student that he got so fed up during the time that they were locking kids in cages that he got up and he read, he didn't say where he was reading from, just read from Deuteronomy mm. on what to do with the immigrants in your land. And he sat down oh. and people were so mad at him. So mad at him. They were like, why are you preaching politics from, from the pulpit? Why are you doing this? And he's like, I read from Deuteronomy. Look it up. And <laughs> sat down and that was it. And I think he he I think he was fired, but <laughs> you know, but but that's that's yeah, courageous. Yeah. That that yes. that's what we as as clergy we should be we should lean into what our our scriptures say and be like, this is what it says. If you're not doing it, then I don't know why you're here. In the Roman Empire, there was uh, there were some uh, people in the Roman army that that converted to the way. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, but mostly Rome was a pagan you know culture and a tolerant culture uh, uh, until. <laughs> <laughs> until the zealots acted out in 66 but uh from 66 to 70 but they uh uh religiously plural and tolerant pagan but there were some <clears throat> they even let jews and christians uh gather and meet for a while as long as they would uh ask their god to bless the emperor everyone else mm -hmm. had to pray the emperor but they could ask their god to bless the emperor and um but really until constantine and mm, okay, sorry about that mm -hmm. but until constantine <laughs> You couldn't be really all up in the empire mm -hmm. and be about this way, this, this mm -hmm. Christ way, this Jesus way. And we're seeing it now. A lot of what people are calling Christianity 
is just American imperialism mm -hmm. that Absolutely. they're painting Jesus' face on, which is yep. what Constantine did. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yep. But uh, the, no, the, the Jesus is over against, when Jesus says, I'm the way, he's not saying I'm the way over against Buddhists and Muslims. He's saying I'm the way over against imperialism right. and colonization right. and domination. And so a lot of people who think they're Christian really aren't. Uh, I don't think there's any, you know, afterlife consequence, you know, because you had one opinion over another. But what they're doing in the name of Jesus, Jesus would be shocked. really shocked by. No, he'd be pissed by it, I think. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah yep. that would be a table overturn. <laughs> Definitely. Next up, we are excited to tell you about our next adventure with our Global Fellowship. In 2024, we'll be going to where the hills are alive as we explore Austria <laughs> and Alpine Europe for Gay Oktoberfest. Space is limited, extremely limited, so make sure to go to happeningout.travel slash sunshine to reserve your space now. Mm -hmm.